Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to run vector error correction model in R. If two time series are integrated at the same level, and if their linear combination is stationary, then two series are co-integrated. Co-integration is also known as co-trending and co-moving. It means we have to remember two points in co-integration. The first one, both the series should be integrated at the same level. The second, their linear combination should be stationary. Now in this plot, you can see that the prices of commodity A and commodity B are moving together. So this is an example of co-integrated series. We are all aware about the three-legged race. In this race, the two legs of these two students are tied together. So the number of students are two and the band is one. This means that the number of students is equal to the number of variables and the one band is one co-integrating equation. If one more student is introduced, will require one more band. So the number of students, one, two, three, are the number of variables, one, two, three. The number of bands are one and two. So number of co-integrating equation is two. Let's take this example again. How many co-integrating equation can be present? Only one. This means that the number of co-integrating equation in VAC model is equal to the number of variables minus one. It means that if two series are co-integrated, then they share a common stochastic trend and will grow proportionally. In other words, they move together in long run or they have a long run relationship. The question is, are variables co-integrated? Yes, apply vector error correction model, that is a long run model. If they are not co-integrated, apply the vector autoregressive model, that is a short run model. I have already uploaded the video on vector autoregressive model, kindly refer to that video in my playlist. Now let's take the layman example, the three leg dress and the vector error correction mo model and logi may be linked through the concept of co-integration. In a three-legged race, participants tie one leg to their partner's leg and they must move together to reach the finish line. Similarly, in the context of time series analysis and econometrics, co-integration is a con concept that links non-stationary variables by expressing a linear combination of them as stationary. In a VECM, co-integration is a key aspect. The model is used when there is a long-term relationship between the multiple non-stationary time series variable. These variables may individually follow the random ones, non-stationary, but there exists a combination of them, of them that is stationary. This is co-integrating uh, co relationship, which represents a long-term equilibrium among the variables. Let's see this. So there is one co-integrating equation. Now drawing the analogy with three leg dress, individual legs, each leg in the three leg can represent a non-stationary time series variable. Tying together. Tying the legs together in the tree like dress symbolizes the co-integrating relationships in VECM. It indicates that there is a meaningful connection between the non-stationary variables that makes a combination of them stationary. Moving in harmony, long-term equilibrium. Just as participants in three like dress move together to reach the finish line, the variables in the VECM move together in a long term to maintain an equilibrium relationship. Short term deviations. In the race, participants might experience short term deviations from their ideal synchronized movement. Similarly, in a VECM, short term deviations from the long term equilibrium are represented by error correction, error correction terms that adjust the variables back to the equilibrium. Let's understand this. When any participant, when any participant moves out of this white line, the another participant tries to pull that participant in this, in this white line, in this white border. So this is the correction which is done by one, particip one participant on the another participant. The same thing happens here also. When any series is deviating, the, there will be a correction from the another series. In summary, the analogy emphasizes the idea that a tree like dress Participants are tied together for better coordination just as in VECM. Non-stationary variables are co-integrated to reflect their long-term relationship and error correction mechanisms which bring them back to this equilibrium when short-term division occurs. Now let's see how we can do this in R. 
So for this, we'll go in R. The first thing we have to do is import the data set. So click on environment, import the data set from Excel. The name of the data set is data returns. Activate it, press open, press import. So this uh, data set consists of date, Sensex, Nifty, Comdex, Metal, Energy, and Agriculture. We will attach this data set in our run. We will uh, we'll combine them, that is, we will create the new data frame and CM by the command line CBind. CBind, Nifty, Comdex, Metal, Energy, Agriculture. And we will run the co integration test. So the new object which we are creating is co integration test. The command line is ca.geo ncm uh, k is equal to 2 ec dead non this can have a constant trend this we have already discussed in my previous video so k is equal to 2 is equal is number of likes in ec dead we can specify this as constant and trend the type is I can, I, either you can use a trace statistics or the eigenvalues specification transitory run it and then summary of the co-integration test so here is it we'll have to see this values and this values. so when r is equal to zero that is number of co-integrating vector is zero number of co-integrating equation is zero r is equal to one then the values and r is equal to 2 then need the values let's do the interpretation here is it we'll start with the first one as the eigen statistics is 225.69 which is greater than the critical value 70.16 at 5 percent it means we reject null hypothesis that no co-integrating vector exists so we'll have to proceed further now compare this value with this value. As the eigen statistics is 51.99, which is greater than the critical value 48.28 at 5%, it means we reject null hypothesis that one co-integrating vector exists. We'll have to still proceed further. Now compare this with this. As the eigen statistics is 16.48, which is less than the critical value 31.52 at 5%, it means we fail to reject null hypothesis it means that at least two co-integrating factor exist at least two what does that mean it means that will require at least two bands one and two let's proceed further now we will require the library dsdy dsdy dyn to run the vcm model we'll go and install packages Make sure your internet connection is on. ESDYN. Press here, install. Activate its library, run. Specify the model. Model 1 is equal to VCM data.frame nifty comdex battle energy agriculture. Three legs we are considering. R is equal to four. Four co-integrating vector we are specifying. Estimation is maximum likelihood. See. On the basis of this, on the basis of this result, we select the number of co-integrating vector. I am considering at present four, but here you can uh, use two also. Run, then the summary of the model one, and I got the output. So this is your output. Error correction term one, error correction term two. So this is for Nifty. Error correction term 3, error correction term 4, the intercept, nifty at lag 1, then uh, convex, metal, and energy. Now let's do the interpretation. Let's do the interpretation. Now we'll only consider those terms which are significant, right? So the terms which are having stars. This one, this one, let me take it here. 
So these terms are significant where the star is present. EC2 is not significant. EC3, one star is present. Uh, similarly, ECT T4 is not significant. This one is not significant. ECT4 intercept is not significant. Nifty at lag one is significant. So I have considered all those significant term. In in case of R, if we are having the star, the variable is significant at five percent level of significance. Two star means variable significant at one one percent level of significance. Three star means variable is significant at point one level of level of significance. If we consider Nifty as a dependent variable, then only ECT1 and ECT3 are significant. So if we make the equation of Nifty, so Nifty is minus 0.0037 into ECT1 minus 0.0098 into ECT, ECT3 plus 0 0.067 into Nifty lag 1 minus 0 0.728 metal lag 2. Now remember one thing. When you are using a BECM model and when you are having an error correction term, two things are necessary. The first one, this error correction term should be significant, one, and it should be negative. Please make it a point. It should be a negative. Now, what is the concept of it? Let's go back in the three leg dress and try to understand this concept, this one. When one participant moves out of this white line, the another one tries to pull inside. So it's it, it's basically we uh, it's basically the opposite reaction which is required. So here also it's necessary that it should be negative. Just a minute. Now let's do the interpretation. The dependent variable in the model is nifty at time t, which is the value you are trying to explain or predict. The term minus 0 0.0037 ECT1 represents the impact of the first error correction term on the current value of the nifty. The negative coefficient indicates that if there is a deviation from long-term equilibrium, it is corrected at the rate of 0 0.003, see this, in 200.3 percentage. ECT3, similarly, the term minus 0 0.0098. ECT3 represents the impact of third error correction term as second is insignificant. On the current value of Nifty, the negative coefficient suggests that the deviations from the long term equilibrium is corrected at the rate of 0 0.009 into 100.9 percentage. The term 0 0.067 Nifty. 0 0.061 nifty t minus 1 indicates that the impact of the lagged value of nifty from the previous time period on the current value of the nifty the positive coefficient suggests a positive relationship meaning that the past value of nifty positively influence the current value the term minus is, uh, 0 0.728 metal t point uh, uh, sorry leg 2 t minus 2 is it negative yeah, it's negative. Represents the impact of second lag of the variable metal on the current value of the nifty. The negative coefficient indicates that an increase in the in the value of metal at two periods ago leads to a decrease in the current value of the nifty. Now you can uh, similarly you can make the model for comdex. You can make the model for metal, energy, and agriculture also. The base models are selected on the basis of EIC lower the pattern whenever you select the model make sure that the models are selected on the basis of economic or theoretical relevance so this was all about how we can run vector error correction model in r for more videos on r kindly subscribe to my channel you can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias link given in the description box.